Hi, it's Brad. Today I'm going to show you how to get rid of those pesky wasps and hornets for good. So you can use these expensive traps. I have a hornet flying around me right now. Uh, you can buy them at many hardware stores and uh, they um, they work well but you can do it cheaper too. You can buy these traps right here. Um, take a two liter bottle and you cut a little X in it and stick these in and uh, just put some water and some fruit. Uh, don't put uh, uh, citrus fruit. Put apples, pears, peaches, things like that, raisins, plums um, in there. It doesn't take very much and they'll go right in and they drown. Um, they uh, they work really well. The other thing that I do is I'll take um, just an old pop can, and, and you know these these hornets they just love to come when you're having a picnic and slurp out of your can. They will take um, sugar water that is uh, pretty diluted. Uh, bees don't want that. Bees want pretty much one to one sugar. So if you have bees around. This works really well. Um, I use uh, apple juice and boric acid. Now, boric acid is um, lethal to all insects in any quantity. So, uh, any quantity that you can get boric acid in, and I use this with ants, I'll, I'll take uh, a cup of powdered sugar and uh, about a teaspoon of boric acid, mix it all together, put it out where the ants can get to it and they'll just haul it off and back to the nest. In about two weeks they all disappear uh, because it's lethal to them and, and it, it acts really slow. It's really 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 slow acting. Uh, it is boric acid and it has a kind of a nasty taste so uh, you can't put a lot for ants or they won't take the sugar. They'll leave it. They know that something's up. But um, you just put little tiny bit and a little tiny bit works well. You can also mix up sugar water and put in, uh, we use cat food cans, just you know empty cat food can and fill that up and put that out and let the ants crawl into that and take that back. Uh, we had ants so bad one year that uh, uh, their ant trail was a foot wide. It was it was huge and uh, we put this out and they they drained they drained three and four cat food cans uh, two and three times a day for oh, five, six days. Then it started to taper off, and in about two weeks, we didn't see any ants. We had no ants around the property or the house anywhere. So boric acid, it's uh, relatively cheap. You don't, don't get the kind that, uh, that they make for um, roaches that's not boric acid. You wanna look at the label and make sure it is pure boric acid, and then it will work great. So let's, uh, let's go in the kitchen and uh, show you what, how I'm gonna make it and then we're going to put it out in cans and uh, the wasps and the hornets will come and they'll take it back. You don't even need to know where their nests are. Their nests can be uh, half a mile, two miles away and uh, they'll take it back. They'll feed everybody and in uh, a week to ten days, maybe two weeks, uh, the whole nest will die. Uh, it works really, really good in the fall when they're all preparing to get into winter and, uh, and then in the spring in about uh, late March early April I'll put traps out with it and uh, the only hornets and wasps flying then are queens so you're killing lots of uh, lots of colonies that will uh, bother you and <laughs> sting you bite you bite you yeah they don't really bite they just sting and it's crazy 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 wild sting all right let's go to the kitchen okay so we'll take uh, we'll take this uh, half a gallon it's a gallon of uh, it's a half gallon of apple juice and it's half full and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of teaspoons of boric acid and we'll put them in this apple juice Shake it up, let it dissolve, 
boric acid in any quantity is lethal to insects. So in a little tiny bit of boric acid here, and the hornets and the wasps won't even notice it. And they'll take it back and feed everybody else because it'll be so good and everybody will die in a couple of weeks. And so what I'm going to do now is fill this on up with water and then put it in the cans. So all I do is I just take the uh, apple juice and I, I pour a little in, a, in an old pop can. And then take a stick and put the stick down in the pop can. And this way, you see, you don't want the hornets to drown. You want them to take this this uh, food back to the to their little hive. And I just put it in a little sheltered place so the wind doesn't blow it over. And uh, this one. Now keep in mind, they uh, they will go for this. Uh, it it does not have to be. Terribly pure and exciting. Uh, they 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 like the um, sugar from soda pop. Bees don't. We have bees, so we have to be careful to do things that we don't kill the bees. And the bees don't like this. The bees won't go for this. So we just put these out like this, and then the uh, hornets will come. And, uh, and they'll drain these cans down. They, they'll just drain these cans down and we just keep them full. And uh, pretty soon, no more hornets. There you have it. Okay, here's the results. You can see after just a little time, the uh, hornets, and this is right at the bee colonies. The bees are on the other side. Bees don't want anything to do with this apple juice. And the hornets are just all over it. Uh, you'll see them coming and going inside the cans. I can hold still enough. They're down on the boards and they've already emptied that middle can. It was clear full. If you notice, there's a little bit of grease on these cans. I also put just a little bit of animal fat. Now I use bacon grease and uh, put it on there. And, and these little things are just so attracted to that as well. So that's how it works. And uh, they'll take that back to their hives, their colonies, and feed them. And uh, in just a few days, the colonies will disappear. Hope it works for you. So just recapping, um, you, you'll want to get boric acid and uh, it's 80 to 90 to 100 percent pure. Be sure not to get, uh, you can find it for, it's, it's usually for roaches. You'll find it usually in, in, the, in the roach proofing area, but read the label, make sure that you get boric acid if you're not getting some other chemical because uh, the other chemicals don't work like this. Um, make sure it's just pure boric acid heck we go to the dollar store and and get little tubes of it for a dollar i bought that uh, i bought that uh, big uh, two gallon container of it at costco for a couple of bucks so uh, a long time ago so uh, boric acid is is fairly inexpensive and and it's just deadly to insects any insects if you can get them to eat it it will kill them uh, be careful uh, not to put it where you've got other animals i mean it, it it's really not toxic to humans and animals in the quantity that you're using. So it's just a, a nuisance to have your dogs or your cats or your uh, kids or grandkids tipping over the cans of <laughs> sticky stuff. So um, put it where, where, the, where the wasps and hornets can get to it and, uh, and it works fine. You can use soda pop, you can use uh, just water with fruit in it. They want the water and the fruit, and so uh, they'll 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 take anything. Just just add a little uh, boric acid into it, 
and uh, and and they'll just they just love it. They uh, wow, they they just can't get enough of it. And and be sure and put a stick in your can or or make sure that uh, they don't drown, because you want them to go back to their uh, little colony and uh, communicate where this good stuff is and bring everybody else to get it and take it back. Uh, you don't want them to drown uh, and never get back and never tell the story, never go feed everybody. So uh, there you have it. I have cotton picking hornets flying around me right now. Uh, I probably smell like apple juice. Uh, Brad from Cougar Ridge Ranch with your little tip. Bye-bye.